On Augustine's view, God owes us nothing. He freely gives existence. Thus, we are not entitled to reward if we are virtuous. I suppose it would be a little like seeking a bonus from a benefactor after we have managed to not totally squander a million dollar loan. See Donald Trump. We want to be rewarded when we have been given the gift of existence in the first place. Absurdly greedy, greedy right? Further, we can't do God a favor, earn reward or repayment. God doesn't need us for anything. Augustine seems to think our merit-based gifts would be akin to giving the Queen of England an English pound. Wouldn't she just smile at us awkwardly and think, cute? Just as our moral work cannot affect God, neither can our turning away. So no sweat off God's back if you turn away, given your construction for good in the eternal, one only hurts themselves by turning away from God. On this view, we are indebted to God for existence, and we are to use our will to repay the debt of our existence. We are to use the will given to us for our divinely ordered end. If we do not, we can be justly punished. Further, God deserves praise for doling out punishment to the disobedient. His justice is being fairly applied. By extension, we hold people accountable for their actions. Uh, we're also reaffirming God and the nature of the debt we have to him. This is some pretty intense stuff. Augustine then muses, even if we could successively excuse man from sin and blame it on the creator by saying man was merely following God's orders or that God necessitated the sin somehow, then the creature was not sinning at all. There is nothing to blame God for. Hmm, so we're to praise the creator since there are no sinners in this scenario? scenario? If sin is defined as willful submission to inordinate desire and it is found out that God strips us of our free choice, that would make sin as defined an impossibility, so I guess this is a good. But I don't think we can get behind the idea that such a set of events leads to the praise of God. If God necessitates the horrific choices of men, then everything becomes natural evil, meaning that the suffering that volcanoes and mass murderers cause are equivalent, and since God brings the created order into being, wouldn't he have to answer to that natural evil? Augustine has not addressed natural evil thus far, so I have no idea how he defends God from it. Moving on. In chapter 17, Avodius asks a fascinating question. He is cool with God foreknowing who will sin and that foreknowledge does not determine sin. However, it perplexes Avodius that some rational creatures within the divine order don't sin, others sin relentlessly, and then there are those of us who are in between. What accounts for the difference if they each have a rational will? Augustine's answer, um, again, seems to be inordinate desire is what leads to a perverse will. Those beings more in accordance with their nature resist inordinate desire and do not sin. Augustine thinks he can't give a greater explanation than the will giving into inordinate desire being the root of evil. He thinks he would have to enter into an unknowable infinite regress to determine what causes a perverse will, and then what causes that, and so on. He opts to say, only the will can cause itself. If a terminus in the infinite regress could be reached as the cause of the perverse will, then he thinks it is pointless to even speak of sin, for sin is something chosen by the will and not induced. I, I get... Augustine's frustration. If he says beings higher in the order are fashioned differently so that their wills don't become perverse, an incidental feature of being is responsible for moral choice in their being and perhaps all rational creatures' moral choice. The whole idea of sin and accountability comes crashing down, but will it really do to not even acknowledge the distinction between the classes of the divine order Augustine has alerted us to in the first place? Augustine seems to throw the towel in a little early on Avodius' question. Maybe, a, maybe higher rational beings retain their free choice and have a different constitution. Maybe that isn't an impossible thing to explain. Just a little surprise that he gives up so easily. 